So let's get into this matchup, all right? It's about that time. I want to see some agent selection. I want to see what compositions we expect going into Haven. And again, let's talk about the meta here because this is one thing that I, I love to see from Briarcliff. And it's especially Konichi. Konichi is going to be one of those standout players for sure. And then who forget about Tony, bro? I love Tony over there, big, dude. Big but, Tony over there, bro. Yeah, no. But I, Konichi, I yes. whenever you expect to see a Sova, yes. Konichi brings the fade. Yeah, I, I really, yeah. In this conference, I will say that uh, Konichi has been, you know, one of the better players that has been operating switching between the Sova and the Fade, being able to play both of those very, very good intel gathering agents and having a wonderful presence on the map each time. And you look at the composition coming in um, for everybody else, and it's like, it's a pretty stock standard composition, right? We might see maybe one or two changes and it will be, you know, Blight rocking the Sova or Kanichi rocking the Fade. But like Haven, I'm not saying it's solved 100%, you know? Like I never want to say, oh, this map is solved. This is the only composition that works on it because there's Choose always so agents. many other options you can do. But this is a type of composition that just works so well as, yeah, it's going to be the difference in Duelist as well as the uh, Intel Gathering Agents. And we're going to Haven for game number one between Briarcliff University and Simpson College. It's just so interesting to me because, again, you know, you're going to be getting a lot more intel with the Sova than you would have fade. So, again, what we're going to be seeing from Briarcliff is not so much intel gathering. It's going to be more fragging. That's what they're going to be going for. They're going for entry, and that's what fade is going to bring you. Like, granted, you can get a little intel, but Sova, like, Sova just gives you that much more intel. So, again, Briarcliff, they're going to be relying more on that utility that comes from fade rather than, you know, what uh, information you possibly could get from Sova. And with that being said, also, I want to make sure that we all watch out for Hariri yeah. on the KJ because this is a KJ that snipes. Okay, they're good with the sniper rifle. So just watch out for the sharp shots. They they love to line up those angles. So again, it's something I'm not used to seeing because when I see snipers, it's usually like a jet or chamber, you know, something right, to that right, effect. Right. This yeah, KJ he's... though, this KJ clicks heads. You know, Hariri is a master strategist. And oh, speaking of strategy though, full send down C. Oh, I thought I thought Scribe was gonna be able to pick something off, but no, everyone is there and Blight has to watch his homie fall. I mean, that's just a great push out by Briarcliff. They said they were ready to play. They're not gonna allow Simpson College to breathe at all. Is Milk gonna go ahead and get that spike planted? Now this retake is all topsy turvy. It's immediately see they plant it down and dip off. I really. This strat is so hard to pull off successfully, but when the teams that get it right, they get it right. Look at the bunny. Oh, the bunny's not there anymore. Yeah, anyway, there was a bunny on that Jade pistol. I love it. Also, that's one of my favorite pistols. And now, Ciders is able to put it into Hariri. Okay. A little caster's curse for you there. As now you can see the spike will continue to tick away. Out goes the concussion with the paranoia oh hits as well. Oh! And look at Koinichi and now Freight getting on the board, just protecting the spike. I think they got it halfway, but they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to stick it. Oh wait, no, they did! No! no! Simpson College somehow stick it with oh. one player remaining. Oh wow. Literally with his dying breath finishes the defuse. Holy cow, Briarcliff, maybe I'll need to pump the brakes just a little bit. The, the, co the cockiness and the confidence might have gotten a better view in this pistol. And it was crazy too yesterday because like we were watching again Miami, Ohio take on CSU and CSU like nearly won every pistol round and I'm pretty confident they did, but I think there was at least one game where Miami uh, actually took a pistol. So again, you know, you don't want to give that type of momentum early because like Simpson College, they could take this and be like, well, we're going to win every pistol round now. <laughs> every pistol. Well, because we are going to this next round. Some light buys coming out from Simpson. We got a little bit of pocket change and they're ready to let it rip. It's oh, Cider, are you serious? Staying alive and getting some frags in the meantime. Briarcliff completely routed over here in this corner by a... Now their game plan has gone all to shambles as Simpsons only lost one in that exchange. Only Tony, only Hariri, and they only have limited space to work with here. I don't know if they're going to still try to go for this, but look on the backside, look on the map. Yeah, Scribe in the perfect position to catch them if they try to rotate out.
Yeah, they're not going to. I mean, they know what they're up against here. They know how this one's going to go. They just have to face the music at this point. I mean, look at the pinch. Anomaly on one side. Siders on the other. And that'll just about do it. Siders with a 4K. Able to wrap that one up nicely. And it wasn't even an expensive win. They only lost one player in the crossfire. So, again, that was a that was a great buy round for Simpson College. But now you got Briarcliff, who's going to have the opportunity to buy up. They're going to be bringing the rifles here in round three. Absolutely. Bringing the rifles, bringing the thunders. We do look... Get a quick look at the economy. Is Scribe going to sit with that Marshall? Do some big game hunting on the fields today. See if Simpson can keep this tempo up. So far, so good in these past two rounds. Briarcliff, uh, they need to turn down the heat just a little bit and regroup before it gets too far gone from them. This looks like A to be the name of the game. Siders will get hit with that concuss. Now he has some knowledge. He knows somebody's there. Don't know how many, but we'll drop a few shots and dip right off his... This time, Briarcliff's looking for a successful A hit, sneaking on up. It's only, it's only two members of Simpson that are here. Now down to one as Siders drops. And honestly, that's a huge pick because Siders has been the one that's really been holding down that A site again, time and time again. Um, you know, from the pistol round, of course, to the, the second round, they were just a menace in the sewers. You know, they were Pennywise down there. And finally, they were able to get rid of Siders. So it's going to be a clear and free plant now onto the A site. It's looking at her oh. getting taken down by Blight on the flank. Yeah, perfect flank by Blight. Trying to be a thorn in Briarcliff's side. Seems stuck in the corner. Oh, <laughs> caught reloaded. Scribe says sit down goodbye. Now it is all up to him, and unfortunately, he would not be able to do enough, do enough damage. Okay, Briarcliff, stop the bleeding. Hatch it up and get a round back in their pocket. Yeah, they do. And again, you know, that's what I expect, you know, in the rifle round. I mean, they had the they had the power of the purse. And they were able to buy up. They had the better weaponry. And, you know, we already seen what Simpson College can do, you know, inspectors and things of the like. But now we're getting ready to head into round four, and this is going to be the first rifle round, as it were. But take a look at this. You see Scribe with the Odin and Siders with the Op. This is where you start to get nervous right now if you're BCU. It's so early. Okay, go for it. Let it rip, Scribe. Live your best life. Doing his best <laughs> Banthenor cosplay here. Dropping shells over on B site. It's a lot of firepower to be running into. He's set up right at the doorway, too. Has to make sure that a flank does not catch him, and Siders will be there watching. Oh, I say that as I do pull off for just a moment. There's Blight. B and C playing around a lot. The spike is over in that area, so there's no hard pump fake over to A. As, ooh, ooh, wow. That was impressive. Siders getting one, but immediately falling is Freight. Dropping the Freight train on him. Good for two. And that's going to be a plant for BCU. And you know what? That's a good trade, no matter which way you cut it, just because, I mean, you got rid of the op. But now, take a look at this. Scribe with the Odin will be the next on the chopping block. So that's two big guns now down and by the wayside. Is now Tony trying to hang on and look at the mean flank from Freight there. But it will be Tony to end things out on Blight. They went for the swing, and they fell right on off. There you go. It's going to be 2-2 two to two now as we got ourselves a tie game. All tied up. Right, Cliff's starting to pick it up. I mean, hey, <laughs> it's, it's, they've, you know, I feel like they cool their jets a bit on the comms, you know, playing a bit around. Maybe they underestimated how Simpson will play in the early game because Simpson does have pretty decent early games against the teams that they can, you know, match competitively against. Remember, this is the third seed and the sixth seed going at it. Oh, here we go. Round five now underway. We're going to start this off with a lot of utility in mid. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Nobody really biting on that, but look at Siders again. Going to be operating in the sewers here. Has the Blade Storm activated, and Lock thanks to the kill feed, one. they were able to get one on Tony. Tony Tutos now down in the dirt. Yep, yep, and look at the flank here from... Oh, okay, Bonsai. Mm, thought he had something going for him, but Milk too fast on the toes. Spins around. And just like that. Oh, I didn't even get to finish my point, man. It doesn't matter. Puts him in the I dirt. told you, Hariri's a beast on the sniper. Honestly, really, really scary to see. Spike Milk will get planted. the plant onto the C site. I'm really, I'm really liking this now from Briarcliff. Slowing it down. Not really having to chase for their kills because they know they're in control. Well, not only that, but also, you know, they, they did have the buy round. They forced Eco into Simpson College. And right now, all you got to really worry about <laughs> is, is Siders with the Bladestorm as they find the oh, only one. Milk! 
Okay, now they get one on Freight. Oh, oh the op shots aren't landing, but it's okay. You got Koinichi there to protect Hariri, and Hariri able to finish up on Blight. And that was actually starting to look a little scary for BC. That, that was terrifying. Oh, wow. Had that last knife hit, got the reset. Mm, that was a potential self ace. Great valiant play. Unfortunately, was not going to be the nail in the coffin for them in that round. But yeah, there was a lot of util dump at the beginning of that last round and didn't really pay off the way a lot of uh, the teams expected. But now, here. I mean, economy wise, okay, Cider's still rocking with the op, wants to do some damage in. How does Simpson College, you know, get back into this? And just kind of shake off this. Well, that's one way to start. Shake off this, the, the cobwebs, because like they started off hot, and now Briarcliff just flipped it on its head. Yeah, and honestly, that sniper battle is what I was looking forward to the most, because I knew it was going to be Harivi and it was going to be Siders. They both had the op in hand, and you know, at the end of the day, Jet on the op. You know, they already had the angle. So Siders, especially over there towards A, have been you know pretty pretty ironclad. Like when you ever you go to A site, the first thing you have to do is get rid of Siders. So again, great way to start it off. And now Siders is the last player remaining because BCU they kind of went with the bait and switch. You know, they lured it out yep. a little bit on A and they went straight up into B. Yep, absolutely. You know, stick to it. Yeah, it's four v one. I mean. There's no ultimate available for Siders right now. So, yeah, yeah, he had to hit every single shot as the pings are out. They're looking for him. There's no time to you gotta save. You got to save the op. He's trying to, but they are hunting for him. Uh, a few seconds left. He gets one. Does he get two? Oh. Okay, he saves the op. The op has been saved, Cap. That last shot would have been gnarly <laughs> if they would have landed it. That would have been that'd have been nasty. But uh, once again, we're gonna we should see another op battle here because look at this. I mean, Hariri once again is going to be going with the op, and honestly, that that to me is is really really dangerous. Just because you know you got players like Jet, who of course can like mad dash away if they miss a shot. Riri on the KJ, when they break out the op, they're not going anywhere. They're you know, it's going to go like, like when you cross a Riri, somebody's got to go <laughs> immediately. It's the MO every single time as we do see Freight going to jump on a side. He has eyes on Scribe and gets him down. Bonsai not staying alive either. Quick jump in results in two frags for Briarcliff. And yeah, that's the signal to plant. Go ahead, light the fire and down his blight. He's listening. Some potential happenings. He's always oh, walking into a snare trap, but no, it's so actually it. Freight who falls. Luckily, though, Milk and the rest of the squad is there to back him up. Ooh. One enemy Snares out. Milk wants to clean it all up, but Cider says no, sir. Once again, the last alive gets two. Looking for a third. He just has to get two more Schwitzes to the shorty. Is that the best idea? Not in this case. It's Kanichi. Quick with the flick. Gonna ensure that Briarcliff get that round. No questions asked. Yeah, and you know, with Simpson College constantly buying up for that operator, they're going to be, there's no shot that they're not going to be forced into an eco round. Because you can only buy the op so many times. You know, right, like, again, right. that's a, that is an expensive piece of hardware. But now we have our first time out, which means it's time for the Captain and Crow Show. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> a little bit of banter between the boys. On my way here. So far, okay, so Ciders is really, really trying to get some yeah. rounds on the board for Simpson. But. I feel like they're not going about it the correct way. They keep spreading out a little too thin when they know when you we've seen time and time again, Briarcliff like to hunt as a pack. They're a they're a big group of hyenas. They aren't going off one at a time, you know? And it's just you see one, you automatically know that at least two more are gonna be right behind them. And I don't think Simpson College is matching that enough. Okay, well, while we still got a little bit of the Captain and Crow show, tell me, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? Um, I don't know yet. All right, I got Leatherface. Okay. Clearly, y'all saw my Leatherface uh, cosplay. I think it's pretty good, if you ask me, because again, I think it's you know, I, I'm a plus size individual, and <laughs> Leatherface, Bubba, is like the only plus size, you know, like a movie killer. You know, when you think about the big movie killers, you got Voorhees, you got 
Um, you got Michael Myers, of course. You got Freddy Krueger. True. But Leatherface, that's the plus size boy. That's that's the big boy representation. So yeah, I love me some Leatherface. And then Billy Puppet, because I'm a big fan of Saw. Would even call myself a disciple of Saw. Ooh. And just saw Saw X for the first time last night, and it was great. You liked it? Okay. Oh, I, heard I mixed liked things it. about it. I heard mixed oh, things boo, about it. Oh, boo, boo, mixed things. <laughs> no, it was good. Shush. Heard that. I mean, it's a Saw movie. <laughs> it's not winning any Oscars. Calm down. Oh, <laughs> it could though. It totally no, it couldn't. Could. I love Saw, and like I'm a huge Saw fan, and I'm, I'll even admit like they're not going to be winning any Oscars. But right now, Briarcliff does manage to come in, and they're going to win the C site and take it with some authority. Listen, you want to talk about Oscars? We need to give Kenichi best supporting role because this man is going crazy, making sure that Simpson does not have any way to stop the onslaught from Briarcliff, because that's exactly what it's been. It's been an onslaught. Every time they oh, walk walk up to a site, they're taking heads and they're planting spikes. It's been time and time again, it's been reoccurring. It's freight actually, <laughs> with a bullet in the butt, will go down though. Nominally gonna clean that one up. As once, this is the same charge they employed in round number one, drop the spike and then dip off the site. Like I said, very high execution it takes to make this work. It's not really trying to go for the defuse, but there's just too much pressure. This time, there will be no shenanigans, and this time, the spike will be detonated on Seaside and Briarcliff. Yeah, no ninja defuse that time around. Again, I still can't believe that defuse play in the beginning. That was just, again, what was that, like a 1v4 defuse? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, again, that, that was some nuttiness that I don't think we're going to be privy to see anytime soon. Uh, but going into the next round, again, Hariri with that operator. I mean, they're not top fragging, but still, you know, they're being a nuisance. They got in the limb in that last round on C main, and they're not giving it up. I mean, look at the cash that they're stacking on right now. They have 8,800, so they have enough to buy and then buy again. Shoot, they can buy me something with all that money. You know, Christmas coming up soon, so. Hold the list. phone. Let's get through Halloween first. <laughs> Don't go Walgreens on me and break out the Christmas decorations, all Bro, right? It's, it's already happened. It's, it's so many stores. Are, they've been putting out Christmas stuff the past few days. Makes me sick. <laughs> Well, here we are back on towards the ace site. Here comes the oh, push, no. and I do hear a rolling thunder oh, no. coming out. Freight able to find the one on find the limb on Siders. Great start here, Konichi now operating from down low. Throws out the haunt, looking to try and find somebody. And look at this, you got anomaly in the corner who does manage to get one with the specter. That was pretty clutch, and now out comes the lockdown. Briarcliff and his takes are just so, so aggressive. Kanichi with three. As I managed to stay for life a little bit longer, who can crouch first? Uh, it's going to be him with four. Hemi, 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 Turner, Kanichi ensuring that round for Briarcliff. I'm telling you, he's working for the Oscar nomination. Oh, here we go. Getting ready to head into round 10 in BCU. Have just been on a tear. I mean, they literally dropped the first two rounds and then haven't dropped a round since. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, they stopped playing around. Yeah, clearly. I mean, they've just been going on an absolute tear. And now they have two ults at the ready. Simpson College with one. They both have that teleporter online, but it's the nightfall you're going to have to watch out for. Meanwhile, yeah. it is going to be another eco round, it looks like, coming from Simpson College. They're going to be trying to do the most here with some sheriffs. So good luck to them. As you can see, the spike is going to be hovering around mid, and they really haven't committed to either side. I think because it's an eco round, they're expecting an all-out push, which we have seen Simpson College do before, but it doesn't look like they're going to try it this time. Yeah, I, I really think Simpson are going to try and drag this and make this as slow as possible because Briarcliff just keeps forcing their way onto sites time after time after time, and they do have that nightfall. Like you mentioned, very, very big on um, initiations on the sites is, yeah, Simpsons getting flamed. They got to run. Looks like B-Site will be the Face objective here. Yep. Ensure all of that's going out. <laughs> Milk get out of the way. I'm going to incinerate. Not going to have none of that business. Bonsai. This marks you. Decayed off. Okay. Nightfall is gone. Oh, wowie. Okay. That's obnoxious. If you want to treat the B-Site, you have to pay the toll and the tax and... That is a flawless for Briarcliff. Oof. Yeah. I think they're awake. 
<laughs> yeah, just a little bit. As now, you can see they have that six-round lead in their favor, 8-2 to two split. And now take a look. The Showstopper is online. And for Simpson College, they do have the Blade Storm. So yeah, the they top. definitely have a little bit of utility going into this next round. Simpson College now with an opportunity to answer back as, you know, they're finally able to buy up to the rifles again. Yep, yep. Managed to get some rifles online. Hopefully this will help them out. I don't believe Siders has an op right now. I don't know. Oh, that's scary. Nope, you gotta run. You gotta run. You gotta get out of there. Cause the tax man cometh is okay. Blight says no death in taxes today. Takes out freight. How much more can he get off of this Briarcliff? Just running and gunning and taking them all out. Okay. Managed to get at least a few bodies dropped into the interim. 1v3. Isn't the craziest? Cyrus actually Spike does planted. win the 1v1 against Kanichi, the one you definitely want to take out. Mahariri is here. Op in hand. And you know he is a dangerous individual with that Last weapon in his arsenal. Switch. You know, I, I want to listen to these comms, which we can't, but you know, I do I do want to, <laughs> I wish we could. I wish we could, just so that way I can hear somebody on the side um, just say, got milk you know whenever they eliminate <laughs> you know like because hear me out whenever whenever you eliminate somebody be like oh yeah i got him i got i got such and such right 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 got got milk <laughs> i want to hear somebody from simpson college say got milk i, w I would 100 percent be doing it multiple times oh, Ooh, ciders okay with the knives out it gets two before they have to fall big tony gonna stop that rampage but that actually opens up a lot for Simpson College. This is a very even footing ground now. As we actually get Hariri's uh, Killjoy Ultimate will be dropped. And that allows them to slow down the pace and get that plan on the A. This retake is very doable for Simpson, and they need something. Maybe put it at 9 3 before this half switches. <coughs> no, they would love to. Yeah, and we've almost seen a 9-3 curse come to fruition um, yesterday as well. So, again, that would be pretty interesting to see that opportunity. But take a look at this. I mean, it's an absolute swing, and it will be a solid retake coming from Simpson College. And there you have it. We're going into the second half of the dreaded 9-3 split. That was real close. I mean, <laughs> they had to double peak at the same time, or double swing at the same time on the Hariri to make that work. Mans was starting to cook up. Well, yes, like you said, 9-3 curse. Curses are generally more powerful during October. Or so I've been told. I haven't cursed or been cursed before. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me. Anyway, Cap, yeah, so let's see how Simpson does on attack now. Well, let's find out as we are getting ready to get this next round on the way. And you have to keep in mind and remember that Simpson College, they did win the first pistol round. Let's see if they can continue on and take the next BCU on the defensive side now and you know there's been some speculation of where the allegiance lies here on haven is it with the offense or the defense wow. honestly i don't really think it's going to make that big of a difference because a lot of the times in the win percentage you know haven falls closer to that 50 50 mark than than most so let's see how this one's gonna go now that it will be simpson college on the attack yep i mean granted they did win that last pistol or the first pistol beginning of the series it, it wasn't pretty. It literally came down to a last second, last breath of the fuse. Once make it more definitive this time, but Hariri taking point. Trades one for one. Simpson had lost one earlier, though, so it's a 3v4. <gasps> Tony gets caught reloading. That's like getting caught with your pants down, bro. Oh, man. That puts it back at even. Anomaly with the plant down. Let's see if Simpson can hold on. Blight, one more shock dart left can make some magic happen. Okay, if they were counting, they definitely know it doesn't have any more of those to use. Sight should be pretty good for the retake if they can just win this gunfight. Trades galore. It's a 2v2. Back to back, bros. You got to do it. 1v1. And it's Milk. He's good with it. None. Not a single drop spilled. Briarcliff will be first to double digits in this game number one. <clears throat> Yeah, that they will, and they took the pistol round, so they are going to have an advantage going into the next round, which should put them at 11 round wins. And, you know, after that, it's just it's going to be must-win rounds coming from Simpson College. I mean, this is just looking really good for BCU, and not only that, but the fact that they were able to take the pistol here in the second half, 
Oh, that's just, I think that's just going to put them, <laughs> you know, beyond reach at this point. It's it's a scary, yeah, it's a scary position to be in if you are Simpson College. But, you know, it's, it's not insurmountable, you know? Like, this is something that they could come back from. It's just, unless Tony does that, okay, wow. <laughs> I retract my previous statement. <laughs> Oh, here we go. It looks like the spike is going to be heading over towards A. Meanwhile, you have this lurky turkey jet just kind of hovering over there towards mid. And I think they're going to try and catch some people out of rotation once they realize that the spike is going to be going to A. But look at Anomaly there. They're going to be yeah, sticking with the, with the classic. And again, it's unfortunate that, you know, Simpson College stuck in the save around here. Meanwhile, the spike does go down and here comes the cavalry from BCU. Calvary indeed. Oh, Siders. It's one. Can he get two? No. It's not the gun you want to be missing shots on. It's oh, Kanichi, no way. The angel of death so falling from gone. above, silencing his foes. Gets two. Put Simpson College in absolute disastrous moment. Just when it looks so good for them. Looking to be the defuse. Nothing Siders can do. He trips coming out the window. Briar Cliff at 11. Change of plans. Yep, no big surprise there. <clears throat> I mean, that's what happens when you have the power of the purse on your side. They're able to come through and take that. But I got to tell you, Simpson College, they did make that one rather expensive. That cost Briar Cliff three players. So that's going to be three rebuys that they're forced to get going into the bonus round. And, there. you know, it's very rare that we'll see the bonus. So let's see. I don't know if Briarcliff can pull it off. I mean, if they do get the bonus, then it's game over. I'm sorry. It's GG's wrap it up. But this is now time. This is an opportunity for Simpson College to strike back. 100%. Yeah, this is going to be This is the round that's the make or break. If they want this comeback to be a reality, They this is this is the round they have to do it in. But looking at their economy, they you know, they had to spend it all. They had They literally took out a loan to get this going. And they're definitely not shy to spend money. I mean, we were watching, you know, Simpson College in the first half, and they were buying ops, <laughs> like, back and forth, left and right. And now, look, Hariri again, going to be watching C Long here with the Marshall in hand. Again, going for the sniper shots. Did land one. But again, the Marshall, you know, he just uh, doesn't hit like the op does. <laughs> it like, don't. No again, way. Uh, what? Ciders and sewers. Now. I don't like that skin, <laughs> like the, the the toy skin. Like I'm, I'm not a fan of it. it. You know, it's funny. It is funny, but again, I'm just not a fan. And now you can see Milk coming from up on high. Does drop down to get in a limb with the Spectre. Not only the KJ Hariri remains in last scene. <laughs> All they had was a Marshall in hand. Go for the peak, and Siders is able to put it into Hariri. Well, um. <laughs> Briar Cliff for looking at closest went out pretty handily, Cap. I mean, yeah, Simpson College got that round. Much needed boost, a little steroid shot in the arm. Can they keep going? Though? Like, I, mm, if you, okay, in the shoes of Simpson College, Cap, what do you say to the comms? What are we talking about? Like, what am I yelling at my team about here? Um, get, well, it's not even, play for picks. I mean, that's pretty much it. Honestly, I mean, you got, if you could just get the pick on Hariri there on C main, you pretty much just take C. But now look at this. You got freight with a Bucky of all things. No not to way. say that the Bucky, not to say that the Bucky can't get the job done, but Briar Cliff, they had money. So I don't understand why they bought the Bucky. It's a creative decision. They could have got the judge. Spike planted. This is interesting. Okay, you're talking about getting picks. That's a good pick to get. Let's see if they can carry it through. Is Tony though? Big sheriff in town. They'll make him pay for it. Siders on the return. Look at Kadichi though. Look at Kadichi though. He does have the flake. Gets blinded and concussed, but still manages to take out White. Oh, there's two hiding in the corner. Milk. The milkman cometh, and he wants to take it all down. Anomaly. Not gonna be able to do anything. That's the defuse. That's the kill. Briar Cliffs putting it at match point. I mean, GG's. That's it. I mean, you're forcing match Simpson point. College on an on a eco round on match point. So, yeah.
I think I think this first game is all but wrapped up. But look, the timeout coming from Simpson College. Maybe they have a little bit money, uh, a little bit of money to work with here. Is they're going to try and strategize again? You know, this is a team that knows how to like spread the funds around to make things happen. Uh, we saw it a lot in the first half where um, some players would go a little bit without. You know, we'd see like a guardian and a half shield so that way siders can buy up for the op. So maybe they're going to try some trickery here and see what they can make the most out of this. Uh, let's just call it a budget buy. Sorry, I accidentally touched my mic, apparently. Um, but yeah, making the yeah. Most, most out of a bad situation is a very much an understatement for this moment right now for Simpson. But like you said before, in the previous round, getting those picks is very important, right? Taking down Tony, you know, getting Kanichi down, it makes the round a lot more doable. And I, I, I'm hoping that Siders is telling his team, guys, we can still do this. I'm on jet ult here. We've seen him do some crazy things with those knives in this game alone. He just has to do it, mm, you know, Careful. a lot more times in a row. <laughs> to say the least, you know, <laughs> eight more times in a row. But regardless, you know, I mean, at least we're seeing a little bit of economy coming out. I mean, it's not a budget. It's not. It's really not a budget buy. It's not an eco round. So, again, they, they have... They have um, an arsenal to work with here, especially with the Blade Storm. Is now it's going to be all out push on C, and this is pretty much what I thought was going to happen. But again, they're not able to get those picks. The pinch coming from Briarcliff is just too good. They're coming from Garage. They're coming from Main, and now only Blight remains. And down they go. BCU is going to reign supreme here on Haven. Okay, go, go next. Literally go next angle. Um, <laughs> literally, literally, there are no notes. Literally go next angle. Um, I liked some of what Simpson College was doing, but I just feel the unstoppable force that was the combo of Hariri and Kanichi made things... Uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um... Tough would be too easy. Like, tough saying, oh, yeah, it was a hard fought battle, but they gave it their best try. Um, it's just they needed to do more. And hopefully, I mean, hey, we're going to Lotus next. So, well, who had the map pick on Haven? Was that BCU that picked Haven? That was a BCU pick, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that makes a little bit more sense to me because, again, you know, some teams. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I love this. For, for the record, by the way, I love this these map picks. I love Haven, Lotus, and Ascent because this this is this is competitive Valorant, is these three maps. Yes, we see it all the time, but it's for a reason. Some of the best matches are played here. Granted, I think Bind also has some a lot of great matches on that as well. I think Bind is a very competitive map. I don't know why it's been getting banned lately, but these three. I love seeing it, especially Lotus. Lotus, when it first came out, everybody was like kind of dookying on it, you know. But now Lotus has always been like, even when Lotus came out, I liked Lotus. So now that it's actually starting to increase in pick rate in, in the competitive scene, I'm, I'm all here for it. Again, I, I you could say that they're boring, but at the same time, I've seen some of the best Valorant matches played on these three maps. Yeah, I mean, no, it's 100%, you know, call the meta defining maps in the moment um but yeah it's just what the teams a lot of teams are comfortable on right now in the collegiate space i've uh, just been watching a lot of that and hopefully this could be the turnaround that simpson need because like like i said they were putting up a fight it's just they weren't getting the correct plays as they needed them you know like it was like a little too late here there you know just some stuff to shore up but hey we still have time it's not the end of the world just yet but with that being said, we're going to throw it to a break, and when we come back, we'll be here for map number two between Briarcliff and Simpsons. Go get a snack, come right back, we'll be here. Mm, welcome back, and oh my god! Ah, ah. <laughs> ah. Okay, seems I've been joined by a special guest here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Game number two! To be on the way shortly between Briarcliff and Simpsons College. 
Captain uh, Jig Soka, how are you feeling? I want to play a game. <laughs> well, I would hope the game is called Valorant because uh, that's the type of time we're on today. Simpson College. You've played Valorant. And now you play for your upper bracket lives. You have lost game one. Now you have to win game two to stay alive in the upper bracket. Win or lose, make your choice. Well, I have a feeling it might not be up to them. They might want it. They might choose to live and keep going through this bracket. But they got to get through that indomitable force that is Briarcliff, who has been on a pretty strong play. Like, last game, it wasn't a stop by, like, you know, scoreline for real. If you watch the game, like, you're like, okay, I can see why it got this, this far. But they're really going to have to fight, because this is Simpson College's pick on Lotus, I believe. Yes. Um, that we're about to go to as soon as everything gets queued up and we get an agent select. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to bring the fight 100% to get to that decider game three. But I believe we're doing on a set. It is going to be Lotus. So we get ready to go into game two. All right, the agent select is here. Let's see what these compositions are looking like. Is Anomaly actually going to play the Sage? I see the hover, but... I mm, don't know if they're actually going to commit to that. Uh, Viper, Omen, Breach, stock standard kind of stuff. Okay, it will actually be the Hover for the KJ, the Killjoy. I like that. Okay, Hariri has done this before. On the Chamber, on Lotus, and it was absolutely nasty. Yeah, and, you know, all spooky voices aside, I am liking what I'm seeing right now. At least coming from the side of BCU, because, again, I am a huge fan of Viper. As someone who does enjoy traps, the poison traps are great. We do love them. And then the Konichi on the Viper. Again, the double smoke on Lotus. I am digging it. I'm all for it. I can't wait to see it. But it. with that being said, I mean, the Hariri on the chamber, that's going to be nutty. Because, again, we've already seen Hariri go you know shot for shot snipe for snipe yep. with kj and now they're on an actual sniper character yep so, so again this should be agent. interesting honestly as long as you bring a breach and a raise with you to lotus you should be just fine this is so much damage outright for bcu i mean the raise will be matched so it's yeah essentially a mirror aside from well two picks differential yeah so the core three is still there that breach, that raise, that omen, but will be facilitated by two other supporting actors on each side. I am like BCU's composition a lot, though. Like, a lot, a lot. I'm excited to see how Hariri is going to bust some heads, pop some gourds, if you will, on this chamber. But also, the flexibility of Simpson College's composition is nothing to scoff at. Remember, this is their map pick. This is what they practice. So, we're going to go into it here. It says do or die time to keep that if they're keep them in the upper bracket or if they're gonna fall to the lower. And again, everyone deserves a chance. Oh, doggy spray! I love that spray. A little cord. Now spray. I saw the um, I saw the good cat spray where he's like patting the cat, and I want that. I want that uh that spray. That's the one that I want the most. But. Here we are, getting ready to go into the pistol rounds, and now you also got to keep in mind is that BCU have already proven themselves on one three-sided map, and now we're headed to the other. Let's see if BCU will be able to play just as strong. As now you can already see that the utility is going to be dumped right on out over towards a main. They're trying to pin down that omen, but they're not able yeah, to. Finally, go. Scribe does go down, but look at the spike. It's already on to B site, and now the spike will go down. Yeah, the scribe was playing strictly <laughs> keep away duty, just drawing as much fire as he could for as long as he could. But unfortunately, Simpson College fallen by the wayside. As Brightcliff is caught up to them, they're gonna take out everyone they can. Kanichi, he wants to pat his KDA early. Gets three nice scalps for his collection. 
flawless round to start for Briarcliff on Simpson's pick. Yeah, and you see, that's the thing, though. And you know, honestly, I, I got to give it up to Simpson College because they actually played that round really well. Because if you if you are going to go for the B site, you really want to start out on the pistol round. Like, there's no better time to go for B than on pistols. But unfortunately, you know, BCU, they were just able to click a little bit more heads there. Their shots were just landing. And, you know, that's kind of the double-edged sword when you plant on B is that it's, it's where you go to get an easy spike plant. But in my opinion, you know, me and Tucker had a little bit of a disagreement yesterday. I think that B on Lotus is one of the easiest retakes in the game. I think it's even easier than Haven because Haven, you have three avenues of entry. And on B, there are four avenues of uh, entry. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm going to switch also, over to it's, me. It's also... Mask off. I didn't get no warning, no audio cue. Now you didn't caught me out of pocket. Now I'm just bald again. This isn't this isn't scary unless you know unless you know you're an aging man ah, or you know whomever and you have a receding hairline. Then then it's horrific. Can't believe you just caught me out of pocket like that. No mask or anything. See that that's what happens when you when you peek behind the curtain. Now the okay, illusion's broken. Boss. Yeah, no, for real though. But now the illusion's broken. Man. <laughs> man. I would like to publicly apologize. <laughs> Alright, well, back to your here we are. Site now. Back to B site, Cap. I, I'm just it's mean. not my favorite site. My favorite site is the C site. Oh. I'm just saying B <gasps> is a good site if you're just trying to get a quick plant off. <laughs> wow. Freight is know. lucky that was not an operator because wow. My man is limping through. Still managed to get one. And milk is good for two. What? It looked like it was going so well for Simpson right there. Unfortunately, Milk is just really, really good with the Spectre. <laughs> I was about to say, did it? <laughs> it didn't look too good to me. I mean, <laughs> it's a flawless victory going the way of BCU. They came in with some authority. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was looking a little bit good for Simpson for a moment there because they were starting to be a little aggressive. But then as soon as they, they peeked their head out, they got pushed right back in. <laughs> like, again, you know, they got they got punished for that little bit of aggression that they had. And unfortunately, you know, it's the power of the purse. What are you going to do? Yep. I mean, well, I mean, you can't even say the power of the purse. That was a limited buy, bro. That, they were the Dollar General shopping and still made it work. It's a bulldog and a Spectre versus a couple of classics. Come on now. it's the, That is definitely a, a better buy, no matter which way you shake it. Now, here we go. Take a look at this. This is what I've come to see. Rays, boom packing, and boost packing their way in with the Judge. That is going to open up some spaces. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Come through. Freight once again. Hold the corners the best they can. Dodge out of one flash. <laughs> Sider's coming right towards him. Will fall, but Bonsai in the back pocket says, no, no. Not a repeat of last round. We're taking some with us. Managing to drop it down to 2v3 oh, now is Riri. Rifles and hands. Falls to the combination of Anomaly. Let's see what they get. Kanichi. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's a Scooby-Doo moment if I have seen one. Bobson sees, sees the head, backs right out. He has a plan. Got to have a plan. I just don't know what the plan is right now. They throw out the poison orb. There it goes. And not sure what the plan of attack is here. I mean, they're going to drop low and then instantly get murked. No, they're going to back up again. I think they're just kind of toying with Simpson College. Meanwhile, I'm expecting a mean flank. Nope, <laughs> not gonna happen. Banzai is like, no need for a flank. We're gonna take you right front in personal there, right into the face of Briarcliff. As now Simpson College, they do answer back, but we are getting ready to head into our first rifle round. Briarcliff are not gonna be able to bring some rifles of their own here. Yep, yep, gonna bring some more. I mean, that was good. Finally, you know, Simpson, you know, getting on the board here, being able to... Once again, stop the little bit of hubris that Briarcliff is playing with. Um, <laughs> same anomaly, same. I need my coffee. Um, push through, though. Looking to tie it up. Split between A and C. It's milk. Okay, yeah. Milk and ciders. Or milk and freight, rather. Always sticking towards that A site. Holding it down to make sure things don't go too awry. We'll trade one for one. Now the play has significantly slowed almost to a screeching halt for Briarcliff as they're looking for what Simpson College could do next. Simpson College 
Kind of scratching heads here as they will be able to sneak through the door. No, Blight calls this. Can they win a gunfight? Okay, they do. Scribe somehow stays alive. He's been doing that a lot this game. And you know what? BCU deserved all of this because, again, they're pushing up on the defense. They're pushing way up. And they got caught out of pocket not once but twice. And, you know, they got punished for it. So they de they deserve that. There was no reason they should have been that pushed up either on B, which they went through rotating door, or they shouldn't have been put that pushed up on C. I mean, they're kind of playing with their food a little bit here. And Simpson, Simpson College... You no matter what you think about them, dude, they're not going to let you get away with that. I mean, if you give them open opportunities, they are going to take them. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a prime opportunity for them to tie it up. Scribe is literally a, a, a whistle, a wind blow away from dying. Yeah. And he's actually staying alive right now. And Bonsai to get this against Tony, and they will. Okay. Slowing it down and dragging it out. Simpson College, tie it up. Looking to push a little bit further. Yeah, and you know, that's the rifle round that BCU lost. So now, I mean, they should be somewhat in a worse for wear in terms of economy. And again, they, they gave away two frags, at least, bare minimum, last round. But, you know, Simpson College, they're looking really, really strong here. Again, they're playing very patient. They are playing controlled. They are executing and they are they're playing i don't want to say cautiously but they're not giving anything away for free they are definitely within control at least of that last round and it looks like they're going to be in control in this round too yep yep looking to be the same a riri on this chamber has me a little head scratchy it's still early but he just has not really been you know getting anything going as kanichi playing gatekeeper gets one two Gonna pick himself up a nice shiny vandals in prime position to go for three and four. Gets the third, drops on the fourth. Can they clean it up though? Scribe staying alive once again, even if only for a moment longer. Manages to take it down. Puts Light in a better position. Two v one. He has to watch for the swing. And Hariri, he heard me talking smack and says, "Baby, I got you. Don't worry." Closing it out, putting Briarcliff back ahead. How is that not a thrifty round? Did they have a hero buy somewhere that I didn't see? Because I saw a lot of sheriffs. I saw maybe a couple of classics. Where was the hero buy? That should have been a thrifty round. I mean, the only time, even even on uh, a site by tree, when we saw the viper just going absolutely nuttery buttery, you know, clicking heads with the sheriff. That was with the sheriff, and then they picked up the vandal. They, they did not buy that vandal, <laughs> you know. So I'm wondering how is how is that not a thrifty? I do not train. know. Um, you have to pick that up with Anna. <laughs> As we are going into this one, and look, we're back on B side. Your favorite? It's not my favorite. C, <laughs> C is my favorite. B is just, you know, it's like it's like fast food. You know, I mean, it's not the greatest, but you know, it's quick, it's convenient, and it gets the job done. Well, it looks like everybody will be divorced from the idea, deciding to leave the B site. <laughs> because like fast food, it's not good for you. <laughs> I don't care if it's not good for me, Cap. I can't stay away. I mean, go ahead. Peek into B. You literally have three different lanes that they can just zero in on you. And take a look at this. It's just going to be Milk playing a little bit of peekaboo. And not only that, but now they got the intel. They know that the spike is going to be over towards B. Finally, they do hear the audio cue of the plant going off, so you are going to see the rotation coming in. Milk able to play the angles to find one. And now look at the swing. Bonsai, oh, thanks to no the kill way. feed, able to find one. That and now fun. out goes the showstopper. That they connect with Bonsai. Nice. And just like that, it is done and dusted. I'm telling you, that's the thing about B-Sight. It's a quick, easy plant, but it's also just as easy to retake. Again, yeah, it's a double-edged right sword. So unless you're fragging, and honestly, B... I feel like B-Site is best when you try A or C and it doesn't work out. So then you rotate. B is B is like, you know, that that uh you know that last second decision. You know, you, you don't you don't start <laughs> off on B, but you end up there. <laughs> I suppose so. I think it could do with a little dressing, maybe, you know, give it like a disco ball in there. Maybe that'll make it more enticing. Yeah, I think a disco ball would be pretty nice. You know what else is pretty nice? Hariri with the operator. <laughs> on on a chamber. Keep in mind. Got rifles on rifles. Yeah, keep in mind that Hariri was playing with a KJ with with the with the op. 
now they actually have a sniper character and not only that but uh, again we're seeing siders just open the way here with the showstopper being able to find one you should run and here comes the push this is the push okay so the college are gonna drop that lockdown see what they can get done whole lot a lot apparently anomaly stings like a bee making it work and they have the safety to plant spike plants tony and hariri not even at the site now, how does this retake happen? What is the player? Sliders! Sneaky, remaining. sneaky little rabbit gets one on the run from the other. Tony holding that angle. Just needs to clip one. Potentially getting another back. It's been a minute since Simpson College got that round win. <laughs> close to one it. Very close remaining. to it. <gasps> oh my god. Shadows traveling. This is so, so scary. Yeah, I guess it depends. Yeah, the fuse? No, 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 no. There's the thrifty There's round. The okay. All right, so thrifty only counts when it's Simpson College. Got it. But it, it's so funny because, you know, you were asking, you know, how do you retake C? And I'm thinking to myself, that's the neat part. You don't. <laughs> that's why I love C. C, again, in my opinion, me and Tucker disagreed yesterday, but if I'm capping, say captain's capping. I think the retake on C is the hardest retake in Valorant. Once you get that spike planted on C on Lotus, it is literally one of the hardest retakes, uh, if not the hardest retake. I don't know. So uh, B, uh, B site on uh, Icebox like that for word with you. Um, <laughs> Cause that's just chaos incarnate. Really? You're talking about yellow? Yes. No. Yes, bro. You're out in the open. You are nah, not doing. Bro. You're not doing much of nothing unless you're good. Nah, nah, man, dude. You can just run through snowman. You can run by rope. So and many you get different avenues. Immediately. No. You come nah, out that bro. net top Mound, box, you're done. Mound is meta, bro. Mound is meta here on Lotus. I'm <laughs> telling you. Anyway, back to this three v three here in round number eight. And take a look at this. Simpson College actually have a pretty big advantage. They got two ults, one of those being the Rolling Thunder. And that can honestly just win you the game in the post plant. But with that being said, their Omen, again, just one shot here. They could catch a cold, and that would be the end of Omen. As the smoke does come out, look at this swing from Tony. Tony gets called out on the flank. And this one is how HP. This is how BCU has been, you know, kind of giving rounds away, is because they're 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 playing defense, but yet. They're playing too aggressive on defense, but also at the same time, keep in mind that Lotus is an attacker-sided map. So again, the fact that BCU is still winning is still a fantastic start for them in the first half. Last player standing. Oh wow! Okay, um, Riri, not the hardest task, honestly. If you breathe on anomaly, they'll literally fall to pieces. So <laughs> they're in a good spot. Switches to the Vandal. Nice. Very nice job. Spots the grenade. <laughs> Bit of a spray. Not the best. Not a lot of time to work with. Has to make it work. He does. It's one. Does he go hunting for Anomaly? Can they draw enough time? Mound is meta, my friend. I think he's going to go for it. Yeah. Anomaly doesn't have the confidence to try and challenge for this. You have one HP. You have to get a one tap in that head. <laughs> And he actually does it! Oh my god! Anomaly living up to their name. Bro, that's I'm sorry. That, that that's some M I M for you. Mound is meta. There's no way around it. And then again, KJ right there, they played it perfectly. They had one HP. One but you know HP. what they had? They had the mound buff. Alright. They had <laughs> they had the high ground. Alright? And then they played it perfectly. They played the clock. And then they backed off too. Whenever they saw Chamber push up and get rid of the 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 uh, breach, who had full HP? Need I mind you? They backed off. They waited for the audio cue, and then they came back to mound. So a character that had full HP who didn't play mound got dealt with. A character with one HP that played mound, they got the dub. Trust. Just, just absolutely insane. Absolutely insane gameplay. Like. <sighs> Okay, let's see if they can make it work again. So far, neither team has encountered each other. I think, you yeah, run. they're going to go ahead and get this fight started, Grenade. potentially. No, Anomaly actually going to go ahead and drop their ultimate again. Ooh, there's a Rolling Thunder, though. Let's see how hard they can hold on to this. Multiple members were tapped, and Anomaly 
he stay alive! Gets one down. Now it is an all cleaned up. Simpson! Pushing themselves ahead. Again, right now, Briarcliff, they're playing Lotus as if we were on Haven, and they're calling a timeout. And again, very good opportunity to call that timeout, because now it's time once again for the Captain and Crow show. And in the meantime, I do just want to make this quick point before we get into the actual good stuff, into the actual show. Um, again, Briarcliff, they're playing on Lotus like they were in Haven. Haven on the defense is is retake city you play retake when you're on haven that's how you approach the defense that is not the case here on lotus especially on c you have to hard stick c you have to get your utility on c stick breach over there stick omen over there and then maybe you can send viper as the, i think viper would be good from b to a because honestly you can wall off the entry to b and then also wall off door to A, the rotating door with Viper's wall. So again, stick Viper, B, have them rotate to A, and then, you know, you got a pretty good lockdown. But on C, you do not play retake. I, I've already said it. How do you play retake on C? On Lotus, it's the neat part, you don't. <laughs> so, I mean, again, I mean, Briarcliff, they're still doing a phenomenal job just because this is an attacker-sided map, and they got four wins on the defense. Every win on the defense for BCU is a big win, so... Well, yeah, I mean, I just feel like, uh, so retake for Briarcliff is difficult, but it's it's really not impossible. If, uh, it's on C site, it's just, you know, using their utility correctly and establishing, you know, some sense of order. Like, a lot of their fights that they've been winning have been out in the open, you know, over towards A in the little catacombs of B. But, like, at C site, it's like they literally go into it brain off. And I have to come back to Hariri because I love the player. I really do. But they just have not really been a factor in this game as they will be discovered. Flash out. Still has a tour de force. So massive amounts of firepower, but needs to be become that clutch player again because it's really just been all about freight and all about milk for Briarcliff doing as much as they can to get these rounds. It's like the call is being made to go towards A. Simpson feeling like it's a better answer, but Freight and Milk are still here. Yeah, now take a look. They're going to be going for A here, but look, you see where that Viper Wall is? Again, they have Tree Walled off. That is a great Viper Wall, and that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. That's where you want to have your Viper. At least that's where you want to have your Viper Utility. Look at the blind fire through what? the wall. You just keep them guessing. And out goes the snake bites. You're going to stall as much time as possible. There's only 30 seconds left on the clock, and this is going to be a firing squad once they finally break out a tree. Oh, my Fantastic God. Fantastic Viper play on A. That's how it's done. That's how you play defense on Lotus. Perfect execution coming from BCU. Yeah. And, and like I said, it, I alluded to it before the round started. Milk and Freight holding down this A site. That's where a lot of their power has been in this map. And for Simpson College to, you know, try to go for the A take again, you know, not attempt to go B or C, full send it onto A, and back to bite them. Briarcliff tying it up cannot right there. be understated how dangerous they can be once their plans, like, actually go as, as planned. So here we are again. Okay, Siders does, has done his homework. Takes out Freight, but he knows Milk is there. Sees the tip barrel of his gun. There. It's actually going to cause him to run away. Look, look at this deep flake, though. Look at this deep flake coming in from Ariri. Ariri, yeah. I don't think they should be because, again, you know, this is a this is a character that loves to snipe. And if I'm not mistaken, they probably have an op again. So, again, that deep flank going to be very dangerous because look at what they're waiting for here. Oh. You literally have the entire team. Lucky for them. They have a vandal this time. They're able to find one, one. Uh, but they can't get they can't find the others. And again, not bad. I mean, it's a trade. So, I mean, it's one for one. It's fair. Very, very much a fair trade. But, yeah, like you like we had said, a flanking chamber. Um. Not my most opportune play, but hey, it's it worked to, you know, stall for time a little bit. But how does Briarcliff respond to this, right? Simpson, they have not made a definitive answer themselves. They keep bouncing back in spawn. 30 seconds left, they gotta make a decision to plant, and it does look like A is going to be it. Tony, ooh, wow. Barely in time gets there, but he doesn't get a kill. No frags to be found. Simpson College. Causing Briarcliff to fall apart. 
bonsai making sure the door is left. clear. Just <laughs> barely 10 seconds. We'll get the spike down. Uh, Milk able to get one for the road, but that'll just about do it. Uh, Simpson College able to at least in the half at a 6 6 the at the bare minimum. Now, let's see if BCU can equalize and send us into the second half at a 6-6 split. But one thing I have to uh, note, again, we saw Haribi on the flank. And a flanking chamber isn't necessarily a bad thing. But what what, what, what do we know chamber for? Having an exit strategy. If you're going to go for that flank, you know you have to set up the rendezvous. So I'm curious what? as to see, I'm curious as to why they went for the flank and did not have rendezvous at the ready. That should have been your main focus. Your main priority is having that exit strategy. So again, I think Hariri, again, look, look how they're setting up. This time they have the rendezvous at play. They're sticking C. This is how you want to go about the approach. Able to Ooh. land one and then boom, you rendezvous out of dodge. There we go, Hariri. That's the Hariri I know and love. Okay, getting one and immediately Briarcliff say, you want to get on C site, baby? No, sir, Bob. Gonna drop that Viper's Pit force Simpson Call to rotate somewhere else. They can get caught in the net here. They can get caught in a trap. Potentially here, right, they yeah. will have to leave Kanichi on C site for him to have that active as long as possible. But what is the call? What is the play? Well, the trap said it B. That's the trap. They they throw down the Viper's Pit on C. That isn't the trap. That's to force them into the snare on B. Because look at the coverage. They have three angles covered on B site. And now here comes the push as the lockdown goes out. And Milk already able to find one thanks to the kill feed onto Scribe. And this is just literally a perfect trap. Like you had mentioned earlier, you love it when a plan comes together. Well, this was the plan coming from BCU. Hey, yeah, and it does look like they are going to be on in the B site. Looks like they've fallen for the trap. It's mm, Kanichi just barely missing. Anomaly does take down Freight. Ooh, in the back remains. corner, though. Spike Body dropping left and right. Hariri. Force. Stay in this corner here. It's all on Bonsai. 1v3 somehow manages to live for a hot second. Can he do it, left. though? No time to plant. It's fight or die in this situation. Unfortunately. <laughs> Milk made that choice for him. Yeah, that they did. That was so cheeky, too. Like, they were literally right outside the smoke. But just like that, we're going into the second half at a 6-6 six to six split. And again, Captain may be capping, but I do feel as though that this is an offensive-sided map. And I think BCU is about to pop off i mean first of all they are a very aggressive team they were aggressive on the defense now they actually get to play on the aggressive side of the spike and bcu are just gunny they go for challenges they even shouldn't as a matter of fact just a main alone on lotus is the ego chow if you go for literally just a main and, and when i'm saying a main i'm talking about the attacker spawn you know how you know, you line up on that wall right there. We always see somebody push. They always go for the challenge. That's where you're going to see a lot of that gun game go down. So let's see how the attack will come from BCU as now we get round 13 underway. Yep, round number 13. One of the teams looking to break this tie. Toxins going up. It's a little bit of a tense moment here. Toxins Is it A? Is it C? Is it B? Decisions, decisions to be made here, Cap. And this is really good. It shows that Firecliff are taking Simpson 100% seriously now. And Simpson, they don't, Simpson's College does not like to make mistakes. You know, six seed coming into this, trying to show that they are worthy of being in that top part of playoffs. Firecliff, the third seed. Being a bit more challenged by their lessers, so to speak. They lose two in the ensuing conflict. Riri, keep these out of safety, just barely. Thirty seconds. Simpson left. cleaning them up. Yeah, they lost their rendezvous, so again, but at least we saw Hariri avoid the initial danger. They were able to bait out the flash as well. So again, they're baiting out that utility and you can see like there's several agents on the side of Briarcliff, or well, on the side of Simpson College who are hurt, but at least they've been able to stick the frags and now Hariri able to stick two. Look at the fight in the third. All it needs is one shot and now it's a 1v1, but they don't have the rendezvous in hand. The rendezvous was destroyed. So they can't do chamber things. Oh, 
Well, no, if they had just had a little bit of more health, because you saw Hariri click that head. That was a headshot for sure, but only 20 health remaining on Blight. If we saw Hariri with a little bit more health, they win those. But again, a fantastic round coming from Simpson College. They hold strong in the pistol round again. Okay. Simpson College is barely, just barely winning on that last round. Very chaotic, very hectic. All parties involved. Looking to clean that up just a little bit. Go back to the drawing board, you know, see what's working. Briarcliff, mm, they're almost, almost there solving the, solving the Rubik's Cube. That is the Simpsons College lineup. Showing that they can take it to them on their map pick. But Simpson really are trying their... The damnedest to get us to a map number three. Well, let's see if they can make it happen as one push does go through and Freight will pay the price as that challenge did not abode well for them as the spike does go down and I don't blame Briarcliff for going with this approach here. Again, they're just going for the quick plant just so that way they can cause a little bit of a chaos and also they get spike money as well. And Scribe now with a, with a humongous flank able to find two. And this is pretty much what we expect here. I mean, this this is this is the buy round for Simpson College, and unfortunately, it was the anti it was the eco round for Briarcliff. So again, two going in the favor of Simpson College here in the second half, and now we're going into what is the buy round for BCU. Yep, Briarcliff with some money in their pockets, going to get some big blinged out rifles. That they can make happen here. Falling down now. Simpson up to eight. Hey, I mean, look. Maybe they're just good at three maps. I mean, it didn't really go so well the last game, but uh, seemed to be pretty comfortable on this big Lotus. Well, oh, here we go. It's going to be a C push again, and they're at least they're able to get rid of the doggo. And now they are going to be going for the full push here. As you can see, the Nano Swarm does go out. Blight on the side with the Sheriff. Look, they're eating so much damage from that Nano Swarm. And again, that's why it's such a cheeky spot. You place it right there into the corner, and it's elevated, so they can't shoot the Nano Swarm, but they will still eat all the damage from it. And now down goes the spike in a 5v4. And here we are in the post plan. Okay. Looking at this hard angle here over by the halls. Cyrus is such a wonderful corner. Just if anybody steps in, he knows he can pop a few. Hey, Chelsea, he's still is staying alive. Just hopping and jumping over. Somehow, some way, barely living, but Tony has to take a fall. Oh, wow. Falls right into the crosshairs of freight. Now, Bonsai looking to try and make it happen, but no. Briarcliff striking back. Fierce. Hmm. I gotta say, Konichi on the Viper, they did wonderful on site and they were able to clean up. But I wonder, where was the breach in that scenario? I wonder what failsafe BCU may have had in case Konichi was eliminated on site. Hmm. I wonder. But I gotta say, the C site has yet to be retaken. At least in this in this map, in this game, Seaside is yet to be retaken, play. and now the Tour de Force has been called out on a main. And remember, this is the ego challenge. This is where you go to to try and get your gun game up, and nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to want to peek the Tour de Force on a. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, unless I literally have a death wish. Freight. Now, never want to play scared. Trying to jump on a bonsai, and yeah, they will grab that one. Oh, you're right. Hariri with that tour de force. All the rock in this game. Oh, that was a solid two seconds of, vis of visualization and no frag coming from that. That's kind of what I've been talking about, the story of Hariri, Hariri this game. Plant has been finalized onto A. All hands on deck. All remaining hands. That is his... Whoa! I thought that was a headshot. Oh no, Freight doesn't secure the kill. Hariri backs up into the smoke, gets one, has to go for another one. So there's a few more bullets to that tour to force and 
Wee Wee Monsieur goes good for Duke. Looks for behind Kanichi, the deep flank. Now it is a 1v2 anomaly. It's done some crazy things before. Not gonna make it happen this time. Briarcliff bringing it back to Tide once again in map number two. Uh, you know what else was scary about that is that Hariri also had a Vandal in hand. It wasn't just a Tour de Force. They went in with a Vandal. So, oh, they, like, no, even they if, picked up the Vandal. They oh, they picked, the picked it up. Yeah. Okay. All right, bet. I was about to say because that that's a little risky. That's a risky purchase. But still, I mean, they, they were able to come out with the Vandal. So, again, Beautiful. good on them. But uh, Hariri with that Tour de Force, even at close range, was still popping shots. So, again, fantastic. Uh, offense coming from BCU and that time it was on the A site we have seen little to no A site pushes and anytime that we did it was always halted at tree and now right. Siders able to get a cheeky pick there with the with the Bucky going a little nutty that was a great first trade for Simpson College absolutely wonderful very necessary trade too because Hariri just yeah do a little poke shot saying I dare you step up in it but guess who is there it's the Brim Reaper, buddy. Scribe gonna get one. Milk, however, immediately packs up his lunch. Anomaly. Calling my bot. Scary, scary position. This is a very scary predicament for Simpson and College. I think they're all on pistols. Say for one. I yeah, know. Yeah, Bonsai and Anomaly both with Ghost. Okay, it is an entire pistol around here. Right? Oh, uh, yeah, you're gonna get knocked back a few. Got it to half a lease, I believe. Oh! Wee gets one, flashes right in the face, but no! Toady and Hariri absolutely not gonna let Simpson get back into that. Valiant effort, absolutely. Briarcliff now forge ahead in this forever tennis game of map number two. Oh yeah, they were able to take that lead right on back and that's the power of the rifle round for sure. Now we're getting ready to head in to round 18. And now Simpson College have got to try and equalize here. This is their rifle round as well. They're able to buy up. So it should be a little bit more difficult for Briarcliff to try and get the spike down. But look at this. They're already plotting on the B site. The showstopper goes out. And they did have a read, but they didn't pull the trigger. It's finally the showstopper goes out and Scribe goes down. But now another showstopper comes out, but it doesn't get launched freight able to put an end to the showstopper before it even went out and now the spike is ticking away on b oh my goodness freight is just so cheeky with these just he's sitting under something and looking up like uh anomaly wants to try to get that a few so bad but this 3v5 is so scary for simpson kanichi once again sneaky sneaky snake bite gets two deep flakes and a, a flawless for briarcliff putting them at 10 the freight train has left the station. Briarcliff. They punch and they tickets to the next round. They keep this up. Yep, that they are. They're playing phenomenally right now. And again, what we talked about with B-Site is that it is a high-risk, high-reward play. But the thing is, is if, if you are going to go on B, you have got to get a pick. You have to secure a pick, which is why we saw the Showstopper come out immediately. Because you have to find at least one. And you know there's going to be at least one player lurking the angles. And then they were able to get the read onto the Omen that was operating in Heaven. And then they took them out. They played perfectly. If you're going to take B, if you're going to take B, you got to have... A guaranteed pick otherwise the the retake is just too it's too much so again bcu they played that one perfectly they went all gas no brakes and they went all speed on b and all that's really speed. the only that's the only way you could play b site well okay i really hope this call timeout from siders you know, resets the mood for Simpson because they've been doing so well on this pick of theirs, so well on this Lotus map, and it's just kind of unraveling here towards the end off of, you know, a few little just off calls. The timing has not been the best. Briarcliff, they've definitely stepped up. 
Oh, they 100% have. And, you know, it's because BCU, they know this map, too. You got to keep in mind, before we were here on Lotus, they were on Haven, another three-sided map, and they clearly knew how to play that one. I think the three-sided maps, uh, BCU has just done their fair amount of homework on it. And now look at this. They're going to be going for a B push again, and they're dropping the Viper's Pit. To me, that's interesting because this is an eco round for Simpson College, so they, they already have a pretty good advantage. So I'm curious why they're so quick to drop that Viper's Pit. But you know what? Maybe it's a good thing they did because Simpson College college they're coming in pretty strong on the post plan yeah they are they are indeed b site such a scramble such a fight 3v3 siders catches tony out of the fog out of the muck but what can he get going blight goes big allows siders to clean it up with the three that timeout looks like it's working pretty well gets another round in the board of Simpson college they're looking to tie it up Again, B is that high risk, high reward. Yeah, you can go ahead and you can get the plant down quick, but the retake comes in just as quick. And once you put the Viper's Pit on B, which is why I think it's so odd, is that you have to stay in the Viper's Pit afterward. There's nowhere to go. We we even saw that Scribe tried to make it out. Um, or I'm sorry, Tony tried to make it out, and then they got gunned down. <laughs> once you're in the Viper's Pit, there's no coming out on B because they will see you. <laughs> so again, you know, it's, it's really odd that they that they put the viper's pit on the center of b if you're going to put it on b you have to put it at one of the doorways so you have an exit plan unfortunately there wasn't no exit plan in sight for briarcliff simpson college met him in the met him in the muck and said you don't be fight fighting today it's freight gonna swing on the sliders a site Spike planted. Prime for taking. Spike down. Let's see how well BCU holds their ground. They're at 10. They need to push it just a few more. Simpsons College. Ooh, wow, Blight. You know who you know he's he's breathing hard and glitching after that one. Yeah, and you know the retake on A not as difficult as it is on C. You know, if we're gonna go with retake difficulty, you know, B is easy. C is hard, and then A is just medium. You know, it's right there in the middle. And right now, the retake looking very strong. But hold the phone. Look at the rebuttal coming from Briarcliff. They're just getting trade after trade. Now, Simpson College popping off, and they're able to put it Ooh, into wow. Hariri. But is there enough time? Oh, no. They got it to half, and they get the defuse. What a retake from Simpson College as they look to answer back. BCU now looking a little worse for where they do have enough to buy, but they cannot afford to give up another round like that. They actually got the defuse. Wow. Okay. Simpson. Here we are. Here we are again. Here we are again, Cap. I just swear we're playing. We're watching the game of tennis. We have to open right now because they are swinging back and forth. Holy cow. This is what I wanted to see in the playoffs. This is some good valor that we are seeing right now. All of this to see if we're getting a map three or if Briarcliff are moving up on the next round off of two. Once again, back to A side. It's just a free plant. No. <laughs> Not free as Kanichi will take taxes off of Blight. Very key member in these retake preventions going down here from Simpson. <laughs> Yeah, well, that a limb happened on the flank. That happened in A spawn. I mean, look at Scribe. They're here at attacker spawn. So, again, they weren't even on the A site. They were going for those cheeky flanks. But, I mean, you're not going to outflank the flanker. Konichi, they're the sneaky ones. They are the silent assassin that we have seen all game long. So, you're not going to pull a page out of their playbook and then use it against them. It just doesn't happen that way. And now the showstopper goes out. Sider's last player standing. 2v1 now. And they will be eliminated. BCU still will hold on to their lead as now they go up 11 to 10 it is coming down to the wire and simpson college still have just enough to buy just enough to buy just enough to stay alive for now it really does depend on their strength their mental at the moment because they are just one round away from a doomsday scenario. Light picking up the operator goes to mound and he sees a few like legless seeing them into the field. It has to immediately retreat. 
Yeah, this is a must-win round for Simpson College because they did decide to buy up. If they were going to uh, just come with like an even buy or even a broken buy, they could still play for next. But Simpson College are not playing for next. They're playing for right here for right now. This is a must-win. It's now the Rolling Thunder does go out. It's going to be a push coming from BCU. They're going to force their way onto site. And now Freight finds a two-piece, finds three! Unbelievable Freight! Just on the head clicks. My goodness, that that's a BCU dub. There's no coming back from that. I'm I'm actually just stunned in silence as Freight slamming the trains into the tracks. Brings it into the station, says, boys, we gotta go. <sighs> Looking for that last one, hunting his man down. Siders just trying to stay alive. Keep that vandal in their possession. Reduce one more buy. He will actually take down Freight. But the rest of the team is hunting for him. He does have Showstopper, but he doesn't want to have to commit it. He gets two. Throws a grenade, man. It's like the last mission in Halo Reach. Fight to survive for as long as you can. But that is putting match Briar point. Cliff on match point, on series point here. After amazing heavy lifting coming out from Freight. Feels like a GG to me, to be honest. You know, I think... Yeah, like I said, that last round was must win. Don't get me wrong, we've seen thrifty rounds happen. So it's winnable. Definitely winnable. But I mean, with the way that Briarcliff is playing right now and now having the power of the purse on their side and momentum and match point, you know, I don't want to call it early, but <laughs> I think BCU might be taking the dub here. Let's see how it goes. Once again, going to be going out towards C. Great showstopper. Good trade. And that's how you at least want to start things off. But now, once again, Freight coming away with a 3K. And now only one player remains. Scribe is the, is the lone player here. They, get, they, they have to pull off a hero play. And luckily for them, at least they have their ult. Yeah, I mean, that is true. I mean, it's the omen ulti, but repositioning is very, very important. Might want to switch to a different gun, potentially. <gasps> he did it. Okay, pulls it off. That but... wasn't Scribe. That was no, the that other wasn't. Omen. No, that was, okay. That, that was, was Tony. Tony. That was Big Tony. Okay. Well... Tony will go and get the plant down. Scribe, he has a he has an inkling on where they might have gone, but Hariri watching this corner ever so fervently. Scribe got the wrong gun out. Walks right into the waiting arms of Hariri. I mean, Close what were you gonna it. do? Were you gonna walk out with the judge? <laughs> I, I mean, thought he like... picked up somebody else's gun. I'm not gonna lie. He passed, I by, mean, a few, uh... he, he passed by a few bodies there. But, yeah, I was I was about to say like I don't know I don't know what you expected like <laughs> I mean don't get me wrong you, they didn't really have a lot to work with they walk out with the classic honestly at that range I feel like they would have a better chance with the classic than the judge but regardless that was a fantastic game a fantastic series BCU I mean they they called their shot I mean you got to give it they they came out with they made a whole video <laughs> you know they made a whole video calling their shot so honestly if they didn't win I would be insanely disappointed be egg on their face 100 i agree i agree um but yeah shout out to bcu